Hello and welcome everyone. In this session, I'll share with you how you can connect to your CML iOS devices directly from your PC or Mac. So using your own built-in terminal on your Mac or PC, you will be able to connect directly to the Cisco iOS devices running on CML VM. So let's get started. One of the important things that you need to start with first is to ensure that your settings are correct on the VM. So here on my interfaces, I am bridging through my Wi-Fi. So on your VM settings, you select which interface you want to use to bridge between your PC or Mac and your VM. I'm selecting the Wi-Fi. Now let's go back to the CML workbench. In my example here, I'm using an iOS device and I'm using an external connector. So you need to use an external connector. There's some settings that you need to be aware of here. Under edit the config, you need to ensure your interface type is in bridge mode. So let's fire up this lab. You see my external connector came up. The iOS device will take a little bit longer. So I'll pause the video for now. Now I can see my iOS node has booted. Let's hop into the console and check what is happening. So here, let me just resize my console and the usual settings. And we start our configuration here. So the idea is that we will configure interface gig 00 to get the RP address assigned by DHCP. The DHCP server in this example would, since I am bridging through my Mac, my home router will be the DHCP server and assigning an IP address, putting my iOS device on the same LAN as my, the rest of my computers, basically. So let's start the configuration here. Let's just assign a host name and we go to the interface configuration, RP address, DHCP, no shot. So let's keep an eye and see if my home router will assign an RP address to this Cisco IOS node running on CML. So here you can see that my IP address is 192.168.86.205, which is actually on the same LAN as the rest of my devices. Let's go and do some further verification. And one of the best thing actually we could do to verify the connectivity, the direct connectivity from my Mac to this iOS device running on the VM is to try to 10 net to the box from an external terminal. So let's configure our 10 net access. So I'm going to use a local username and password to get access. And I have to make sure I'm allowing telnet. And then I will configure my username, my local username. Let's use Cisco. And let's use an enable password as well. And we will use Cisco. And then I'll save my configuration. And I'll verify once more what IP address I have been assigned. So 86205. Now, if I open up a terminal, secure CRT, and I go and change my settings. So this is, my host, this is my host name, 192.168.86.205, port 23. I, in theory, I should be able to access the node using Telnet. So as you can see, it works exactly as it should. Let's check the RP interface brief. So now you can access your Cisco devices running on CML directly from your PC or Mac using your favorite terminal tools. 
And some of the applications that I see for this, and I have been using myself, are tests for automation. So if I'm testing a script or want to learn about automation and Python programming, Ansible and so forth, so this is one of the best ways that I found works for myself. This is the end of my video. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching.